This installation is fairly easy and I'm going to be showing you step by step how to put the screen protector on your new device. Normally, I'd be telling you to turn off your device first, but since the Fitbit Charge 3 is uh, water resistant, you don't really have to worry about that. But as a precaution, uh, if you'd like to turn it off, and if you can, uh, just go ahead and do that. Um, this one's already turned off uh, since it just came right out of the box. So let's get started. Okay, so as you guys know, this is a wet install screen protector. So the first thing we need to do is to prepare the application solution, which is basically just dish soap and water. So if you have a bowl or a cup, just like this one, let's go ahead and fill it up with water. And we're just gonna put about half a teaspoon of soap, just like that. Put it in there and stir. And just like that. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that if you have a spray bottle, just like this one, uh, you can put the solution in there too. Um, but basically it works uh, either way. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install it, uh, you know, just using the liquid in this cup or using a spray bottle. Okay, so before we put the film on there, let's go ahead and clean the screen with the microfiber cloth. So just go ahead and wipe it. Make sure you get all the dust and fingerprints out of the way. Next step is to take one of the screen protectors and peel it off the backing paper. Now it just comes off like a sticker, like that. Now if you notice, uh, the film is uh, hazy or blurry, if you can see that. This is normal. Uh, the film is designed to activate uh, once we put application solution on it. Um, once it starts drying, it will become clear. And I'm going to show you guys that at the end of this video. The next step is to dip the film in the application solution, just like this. And go ahead and dip it in its entirety, uh, including your fingers. Uh, this will uh, prevent uh, fingerprints from forming once you start doing the installation. If you're using a spray bottle, you can go ahead and place the film on the palm of your hand like this and go ahead and spray the adhesive side and the top side. Now whether you're spraying it or dipping it, go ahead and shake off any excess liquid. Just make sure you have enough solution on there, but it's not dripping wet. Something like this should be fine. We are then gonna take the Fitbit and place the film onto the screen. Now as you can see, while the film is still wet, I can slide it around. And that will allow me to just slide it into place as center as possible. At this point, you can also push out uh, any bubbles that might be underneath the film and you can do that by holding one side of the film like this and just kind of pushing the bubbles to the edges. Now the goal is to make the film as flat as possible onto the screen and I'm going to go ahead and slide it back into place into center. And it should look something like this. If you're having trouble getting the film to stick on the screen, 
Uh, it just basically means that the film is still wet with the solution. Uh, all you re really need to do is to wait a few minutes uh, for it to, to dry. The film is designed to uh, be less sticky the more wet it is with the application solution. So at this point, um, since we have the film already centered and we have it as flat as possible, we're just going to go ahead and set it down and wait for it to dry. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes since the last step. And I just want to show you guys how the film looks like at this point. Now it's pretty much uh, starting to dry, so it doesn't slide around anymore. Uh, if you do look closely, you might see some uh, micro bubbling, uh, such as this one right here. Or that one, this little area over here. And on the surface of the film, uh, there's probably some dried up solution. We're going to clean all that up later. And as far as the micro bubbles and haziness, that's all going to disappear uh, within the next few hours. Um, and it will uh, usually completely disappear within the next few days. So at this point, I'd recommend to give it uh, a few more hours to just fully dry. And we'll go back to it later and I'll show you guys the finished results. Hey guys, so it's now the morning of the following day and uh, there should be enough time for the film to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how it looks like. Um, as you can see, uh, we still have some uh, streaks over here. We're going to go ahead and clean that up. So just take the microfiber cloth and wipe it off. And it should look like that. I'm going to go ahead and take some close-up pictures and turn it on for you guys. Um, I hope this video was helpful and thank you. Have a nice day.